Good day, my friends, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Daily Torah Broadcast on the Ministry of the Messianic Discipleship Institute. Today we are in part 21 of our series on God's plan for humanity, and I pray you've been enjoying this series so far. Remember, you can always visit us at mymdi.org. Yesterday we discussed the Feast of Shavuot and how it helps us to be empowered and keeps us or helps us to purify ourselves and remain without sin. Well, today we will continue with our study on Shavuot and the profound statement Yeshua gave in Matthew 22, where he states, many are called, but few chosen, and how it relates to our calling. If you remember in our episode yesterday, I share that the Apostle Peter, a common man like many of us, But when filled with the Holy Spirit, he went on to give the most powerful testimony ever given by a human. And how he quoted uh, in the, the prophet Joel, and he said, It will be in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Well, my friends, He was not only speaking to those there with him that day, but he was speaking of us today. He's speaking to us right now today. He goes on to say that this promise is given to us and to our children, but there are conditions. As I said yesterday, we must repent, be immersed in the name of Yeshua, and then we we will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Notice in Acts chapter 2, verses 38 and 39, Peter says this to us. He says to them, he says, Repent and be immersed, every one of you, in the name of Yeshua the Messiah, for the forgiveness of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For to you is the promise, and to your children, and to all who are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God will call to himself. Now listen very closely, my friends. Let me help open up the scriptures to you on what Peter is saying here and what Yeshua is telling us. Notice, it is the Father, yod Hey vav Hey Adonai, Jehovah, the creator of heaven and earth, who begins the process by doing the calling. Just as Yeshua picked each of his disciples The Father is picking each and every one of his children to become the perfect spotless bride to give to his son. What an awesome plan our Father has for each of us. Listen closely to what Yeshua says in the book of John, in the Gospel of John, chapter 6. Let's start in verses uh, 37 through 40, if you have your Bibles with you. So let's pick it up in John 6. Uh, Verses 37 to 40, Yeshua says, All those who the Father gives me will come to me. Him who comes to me I will in no way throw out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of my Father who sent me. Listen, that all he has given to me I should lose nothing, but shall raise him up at the last day. This is the will of the one who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Do you see what Yeshua is saying here, my friends? Number one, he's saying that the Father calls us, and we either accept that calling or we reject it. Number two, upon acceptance, we repent of our sins, accept Yeshua as our Savior, are immersed, hands are laid on us, and we are prayed over in Yeshua's name, and we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Number three, at that time, we are His, and no one except ourselves can snatch us out of His hands. For as Yeshua says, in Matthew 22, and you remember I went over this, I ended this yesterday, I said, in Matthew 22, verse 14, Yeshua says, for many are called, but few chosen. Are you hearing the word 
God and Yeshua are speaking to you right now? Do you remember the first time you started hearing the word of God? Actually listening to it, reading it, trying to understand it. My friends, God the Father was preparing you to be called. He was wooing you at that time. Then the seeds of God were planted in your heart and mind by Yeshua himself. Now think about it. The Father, for whatever reason, known only to him, decided to open your heart and mind to receive the word. Then Yeshua planted the seed. But then notice the parable of the farmer. It is up to you, my friend, whether you will strive and overcome the obstacles and the pulls and the temptations of this world to go and germinate and bring forth fruit of the word. Do you get that, my friends? Listen. Listen to what Yeshua is saying in Matthew 13. Let's start in verse 19 and we'll talk about the parable that he says. He says, when anyone, in, in Matthew 13, starting in verse 9, he says, when anyone hears the word of the kingdom, you're hearing the word of the kingdom right now as I speak this. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and doesn't understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away that which has been sown in his heart. This is what was sown by the roadside. What was sown on the rocky places, this is he who hears the word and immediately with joy receives it, yet he has no root in himself but endures for a while. When oppression or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he stumbles. And then he says, whatever was sown among the thorns, this is he who hears the word, but the cares of this age and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. And then listen, he says, what was sown on the good ground? This is he who hears the word and understands it, who most certainly bears fruit and brings forth some 100 times as much, some 60 and some 30. Where are you, my friends, right now in your walk? Which one of these seeds captures you right now, illustrates where you are in your walk? I encourage you after this broadcast, go back and reread Matthew 13. Read it from the beginning all the way through. I just picked up the last part here for time's sake. But are you on, are, are you the one by the roadside? Are you on rocky ground? Are you in the thorns? Or are you planted in the good ground? My friends, I want to stop right here today. I just want you to meditate on this for the rest of the day. I want you to sleep on it. I want you to pray about it. I want you to examine yourself. Where are you right now in your walk with the Lord? This is the most important part of your life right now. Knowing where you are right now in your walk with the Lord and where do you want to be? Where do you need to be? What areas do you need to improve in? And I'm speaking of myself here also. We need to be examining ourselves each and every day and seeing where we are in our walk. Have we gotten off the path? Have we gotten into the thorns? Have we gotten into the rocky areas? Or are we in the good path, the good ground? So tomorrow we're going to go further. We're going to go deeper together on how we can all be growing deeper and stronger in the Word of God. And it's all part of this beautiful holy day that I'm sharing with you right now, contained in Shavuot, Pentecost, His plan for you and I to have the indwelling of the Ruach, the Holy Spirit of God. So until tomorrow, my friends, 
meditate on these words, and don't forget to share this message with your social media friends and your family. Help us spread the good news of the kingdom of God and His plan for all humanity. Remember, you can always donate or share with us and and support us on our website at mymdi.org. We have other classes there. We have books you can you can look at and purchase, and you can prepare for the daily Torah uh, season that's coming up right after these holy days. And we're going to get starting with Genesis one one, and we're going to walk day by day through the Torah and the half Torah, which is the prophets, and then the Brit Hadashah, which is the new covenant. And we're going to go together, and we're going to walk through, and we're going to uh, discuss things about what's happening in the world right now and in our lives and how it applies to Torah and how it applies to our future. So until tomorrow, Shalom Aleichem. God bless you. Peace and Shalom.